The SureSigns VS3 monitor offers flexible operation using either battery or AC power. Right now the AC cord is plugged in as indicated by this LED and whenever it's connected to AC power the battery charges. This is the charging LED and it gives you information about the battery's charging status. Steady green indicates that the battery is fully or almost fully charged. Flashing green indicates a medium charge level. Yellow indicates a need to charge the battery. During normal use, or around one measurement every 15 minutes, the battery should last about four hours. It is recommended that you keep the monitor plugged into AC power whenever possible. It takes about four hours to fully recharge a battery that is completely discharged. Press the on standby button and the VS3 powers up. When the monitor is on and has not been used for a defined time period, 5, 10, 15, or 30 minutes, it enters auto suspend mode. In this mode, the screen goes blank, helping to conserve battery power. The monitor does not go into auto suspend mode if NBP intervals or continuous SPO2 is enabled. Push the on standby button to power up the unit and the parameters will become active in approximately 10 seconds. You can enter standby mode manually at any time by briefly pressing the on standby button. This on-screen icon gives additional information about battery status. It provides a graphical indication of the battery's charge level. These buttons provide quick access to key functions. This is the alarm silence button. Press the NBP button to initiate a manual NBP measurement or to activate automatic or program interval measurements. If an NBP measurement is underway, press it again and the measurement stops. Press this button to open the NBP interval menu to select an auto interval or an interval program for NBP measurements. This is the main screen button. Press it to exit a menu and return to the main screen. Any changes made before exiting the screen are saved. Press the print button to produce a printout of the most recent patient's vital signs data. If the SPO2 waveform is displayed, pressing the print button prints a 7 or 20 second strip of the wave and all current vital signs measurements. Let's look at the rest of the main screen. The screen includes a combination of different panes. These numeric panes contain display icons of each measured parameter, its numeric value, and its alarm high and low limits. Here is the patient records table, which may include up to 400 stored data sets. This is the navigation wheel. Rotate it, and notice a highlight area moves around the screen. Highlight one of the measurement panes, such as NBP, and press the wheel to open the menu associated with that measurement. In an open menu, you can change settings by highlighting an item and then pressing the wheel. Turn the wheel to change a setting and press the wheel again to select it. Using these same steps, you can make changes to any of your measured parameters, including alarm high and low settings, or system settings such as default patient type. Highlight main screen in the menu or touch the main screen button to close the menu window. These icons provide access to menus that control other functions. This icon is used to open the new patient menu. The printer icon opens the print patient data menu. Highlight this icon to display patient records, hide patient records, or display the SPO2 waveform. This icon opens the system menu. This icon provides access to the alarm menu. 
This area displays text descriptions of any active alarms or error messages. To change the monitor's date and time, highlight and select it on screen. Highlight and select one of the items in the menu and then turn the wheel to change it. To accept the change, select it again. Making changes to the date or time clears the stored patient records. When finished, highlight and select Apply.